I'm Lucy Redwood and I'm the sales coordinator here at Dyson Farming. I'm Oskar Szymanski and I'm technical manager for Dyson Farming. We are growing strawberry plants in 830 rows, which gives us 31 miles of strawberry plants. Which is about 750 tonnes of strawberries a year. That is produced by 700,000 plants. It is all heated and powered by our Carrington AD plant that you'll have heard about earlier. Here in the glass house, we grow the strawberries in these pots on top of hanging gutters. So there are 12 plants in each of the pots and it is grown in a substrate called coir, which is a coconut husk. It's really great for growing. Its long fibres mean that the roots can penetrate really deep into the pots. To grow a perfect quality strawberries, we need the right amount of light, water, heat and CO2. Normally when strawberries are grown outdoors, they get all of this from nature. But here we're growing strawberries indoors, so we control that really carefully. So the standard season for British strawberries is June, July and August. Here we're growing strawberries over winter, but we still want the same quality. We need to create that false sunlight. So we use a climate computer and this panel here controls all of the LED lights we use to elongate the British growing season, which means the plant can still photosynthesise and produce these beautiful sweet strawberries. The strawberries are lifted from the ground. They do not touch anything else, which is hygienic for the crop. You've got light coming from all of the different angles, so you've got the perfect amount of light going to each strawberry leaf. The track system you can see on the floor of the glass house is a hot water system from the AD. So each pipe is filled with hot water, which distributes the hot air evenly up and around the plant. All of the water that we use for irrigation on the site is collected from the glass house roof. It's then channeled off into a 15 million litre water lagoon. That then comes back into our water storage tanks, which feeds into all of the irrigation that you can see around the glass house. The drippers go round and up into each pot. The water comes through each one of these drippers deep down into where the roots need it the most. Here in the glasshouse we are using the biological solutions which means that we've got natural predators to fight with the pests and insects that we don't want around the crop, which means that we can reduce our usage of pesticides. We pick the strawberries by selecting the biggest and reddest and then snapping the stalk. This means you never put pressure and bruise or damage the strawberry. It then goes directly into the punnets that will then get sold into the customer. You can tell which are the best strawberries because they are shiny and red and the helix, this green bit at the top, points directly upwards. All the strawberries that we pick get brought here to the cold store. It's about two or three degrees in here, which is the perfect temperature for storing strawberries. It's really important to get them down to this temperature because it firms the warm and soft strawberries up and means that they can go through the pack house without bruising or damaging. So this is our packing line. To start the packing process, the machine will just check the way of the panets. If the way is correct, the strawberries will run straight through the line. If the panet is overweight or underweight, the arm of the machine will just direct in left and right and it will go to the packers. The strawberries that have been checked going through the heat sealing machine, so we'll heat seal the panet with the film on top of it. All the product is going through the metal detection that will detect any metal contamination within the panet. And after the panets are labelled, they will be packed by the packers. And this is how the product will then be sent to our customer. I was inspired to do what I do mainly because of the attention to detail and I remember when I've seen this glass house for the first time, I was absolutely amazed with the technology and the ways that the crop is grown in here. I was inspired to start this job having always been around agriculture since a child. I then studied agriculture at university and was just fascinated by everything that was going on here. I would just say, try whether you like it or not. Agriculture is such a wide industry. There is a lot of technology and it is a future development as well. Always ask questions. Wherever your curiosity is, ask questions, try and learn more, because quite often the stuff that you're excited about, interested in, is then the stuff that you'll enjoy doing.